Lean is all about reducing waste and maximizing value. But what is waste and how do we define value? In every process or work system, there are three types of activities. First, we have the value adding activities. This is where we create value for our customers by converting process inputs into process outputs. And then there are the essential but non-value adding activities. These activities do not create any value by themselves, but we still need to perform them in order to complete and deliver the value adding activities. These activities could also be related to regulatory or legal requirements. And then we have the last type of activities, which are the non-value adding activities, aka waste. Non-value adding activities are time consuming and resource consuming and they do not add any value for our customers. Therefore, we should continuously focus on reducing these type of wasteful activities. In lean methodology, there are three broad types of wastes. And since lean derives from the Japanese car manufacturer Toyota, these broad waste types are defined by their Japanese names. The first one is muda, which is common waste. These are the non-value adding activities and physical waste of time and resources. And then we have mura, which is unevenness, inconsistency, and variation. The last one is muri, which is overburden and generally focusing on human factors. Reducing Mura and Moody waste is a task for the company's upper management team, while the common wastes like Mura should be the focus of everyone, especially the people closest to where the work is really happening. Now, let's focus on the common Mura wastes. The number of common Mura wastes can really vary depending on where you look or where you read, though the general definition is somewhere between 7 and 8. I really prefer the definition of 7 plus uh, waste types plus 1. So the waste types are, in no specific order, uh, overproduction. We are overproducing when we have excess production and we produce more than we currently need or producing before there is a customer demand. Transportation is unnecessary transportation of materials, products, or information for that matter. Motion, yeah, workers within the work system is doing unnecessary movements, walking too much or too far, bending, reaching, stretching, and generally performing any unnecessary movements within the work system or within the process. And then we have waiting. This could be waiting time related to processes, materials, or products. It could also be long cycle times and lead times as well as bottlenecks. And then over processing. This is when you are adding more value to a product or service than the customer needs. Basically, if you are providing a higher quality level than the customer uh, are willing to pay for or have demanded. And then we have inventory, having a large inventory and stocking unprocessed parts, products and documents. This is basically a wasteful way of using space. And then there's defects and uh, errors, which are very wasteful and can be very costly. And by defects, I mean production errors, scrap, rejection, wrong documents or information. So this was the seven general common wastes uh, in Muda. And then we have the last one, uh, the plus one, which is hidden skills and resources. Not utilizing the talent and experience of the current personnel might be very wasteful. Uh, and this is because many of us have many different skills and experience which can be applied to other tasks or roles within the work system or within the company. So this was a quick and general introduction to what we consider as waste and lean methodology. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.